There are lots of ways to get APA citations. You can use a tool like Citation Machine or EasyBib, or if you're a glutton for punishment, you could type them out by hand. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to use the databases that you use to find articles to also get citations. There is a little trick to pasting it into Word or Google Drive, and we'll cover those here. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so suppose you found this article, you were doing research and you found this article and you've decided to use this in your paper and you'd like to cite it. So if you look over here on the right of the screen, there's a button here labeled cite and we can click on that button and we get a number of citation styles. If I scroll down here, here is the APA citation. So I can just take this and copy it. Now, let's say I'm writing in Google Drive. So here's my document and now I want to paste this in here. So I do control V to paste or of course I can right click and paste. And if you notice, it pastes in with a gray background. If we go back to the EBSCO database, you'll notice there's a gray background here. So to get rid of that gray background, what we do is we highlight the citation and we go up here to the menu bar. And if you notice, there's this little highlight color button. And if we click on that and we select none, there it is that that gray background is gone. And now to get the hanging indent that you need, there are two ways to go about doing that. You can highlight it here. We can drag this triangle in the menu bar out to the halfway point. And then you take the little square on top of it and you drag it back till that says zero. And there you have the hanging indent. But let's undo that for a second. Because the other way to do it is to come up here to format, paragraph style, um, align and indent, I'm sorry and select indentation options and then under special you can select hanging and click apply okay so there we now have a um a citation here brought from the ebsco database and into google drive and um we got rid of the gray background and we set the hanging indent now let's suppose that you're writing instead of in google drive you're writing in microsoft word so let's go over to a blank word document and um, there are two ways to go about um, setting, uh, getting rid of that gray background here. The first way um, is to come up here to, to the edit menu, select that and select paste and match formatting. And that will do that as well, no, no gray background. Um, and we can, again, so, so you're good to go. But suppose you pasted it in, and if you notice, so here's the gray background. If you click on this little square here, you can do match destination formatting, and the effect is the same. If you're working in, uh, on a Windows machine, it'll also be the middle option every time. All right, um, so there are two ways to go about getting the hanging indent here in Microsoft Word. So select your citation, grab on the, on the ruler, and, and if your ruler is not visible, you just select view, and check ruler here. Um, you can grab this bottom square and pull this out the halfway and it pulls the whole citation out. And then you grab the top little triangle and you pull that one back to the zero point and then you get the hanging indent. There's another way. And suppose you have a lot of citations that this might be easier. So what you can do is you can go up to the menu bar again on the top and select format, paragraph, and then here under indentation, where it says special, you can set a hanging indent. Okay, your next step in this process would be to correct the citation that you're copying and pasting. And in this one, I see one uh, really easy to find error um, in the capitalization of the article title. Now, if you're not able to see those errors because you don't have as much experience in APA formatting, um, check the link below for some tools to help. But here, I'll show you one very quickly, and this is also in the link in the description. So um, we have um, under citation, uh, we have a guide for citation resources. And if you click here on APA, you can look here at electronic citations. And here are examples of a scholar, articles in scholarly journals with a DOI. And here is an example. So my advice to you is to take a look at this example. Again, it's linked in the description and compare the citation that you have there to this one. And what you'll notice is, is that only the first letter of the title and the first letter of a subtitle or of proper nouns is capitalized. 
So if we go back to that citation that we had, um, in this case, all of these three words should not be capitalized. Um, so you can just go, go through and make that correction. And, and now you have a correct APA citation, certainly easier than um, typing them up by hand. And it's also easier than using a tool like EasyBib because then that enters uh, into the potential for, cite, for um, typos, like you might misspell something or um, you might get the capitalization wrong when you type it in and then it'll come out wrong in the citation and you'll get points deducted. So um, again, hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, and again, like always, if you need any help with this or any other aspect of research, never hesitate to contact a librarian.